Oregon at Wisconsin, the number one ranked Ducks will travel to Madison where they are a two touchdown favorite. The total around 52 and a half. This is a 7.30 Eastern kick on NBC. Oregon's playing their eighth straight game without a bye. You're saying, is fatigue a factor here? Could it be? Maybe so. We'll see. Oregon's been a juggernaut for several weeks, and I would anticipate that to continue. Number one, can Wisconsin create some big plays? Wisconsin kind of found an identity. They had a three-game win streak there in October, started to move the ball pretty well, started to run the ball pretty well. They were able to connect on some play action. They were able to connect on some down downfield throws. They were playing pretty solid on the defensive side. And there have been some games where they've been able to manufacture some things in the passing game and got away from it a little bit the last couple weeks. But there was a time when Whiskey was able to create some chunk yardage through the air. Can they get back to that against probably the best defense they've seen since they played Penn State? Question number two, will Wisconsin play a little better in the second half of this football game? Here are the second half point margins that Wisconsin's had in their three ranked matchups this season. Against Alabama, they were outscored 21-7 in the second half. Against USC, they were outscored 28-zip. And against Penn State, they were outscored 21-3. That's not what you want. They need to finish better than they start because if they finish the way they finished in their previous matchups against quality competition, it's not looking very good. They have got to make sure that they play as well in the final 30 minutes as they do in the first 30 because they got no shot if they don't put 60 minutes together against the Ducks. Question number three, can Oregon continue to stay super efficient in the passing game? They create a ton of space with their wide receivers. They've kind of been a little bit, or seemingly we know that Dylan Gabriel has the deep ball. They've been a little bit more conservative, it seems like. A few more, hey, quick throws, things underneath, like let's not take too many risks against lesser competition the last couple weeks. And it's really become more about what they do after the catch these last couple weeks. They still have the deep ball. That's not something they're ever going to abandon. But they've just started to mix in a few more underneath, which has been a welcome sight, I might add. I think it's all led to them becoming fourth in the FBS in yards after catch uh, without Tez Johnson, too. So I, I don't know how much that'll affect it. But I'm cautiously optimistic that they are now really not quite as focused on creating downfield, but more ball control passing attack, which has led to a lot of efficiencies and which will be helpful for them moving forward so they can attack you in a bunch of different ways. And question number four, can Wisconsin's defense play a little better than they did last week? Uh, Wisconsin, they allowed a really subpar performance against a solid Iowa offense, hardly an elite Iowa offense, but hardly an Iowa offense of yesteryear either. They're much better but they're not one that you want to see these types of numbers on. 23 first downs given up, 6 of 11 on third down, 330 rushing yards given up, and 6 yards per carry. That against a Wisconsin defense is very unfamiliar. It's not something I've seen very often. I'm 36 years old. I'm not sure I've seen a Wisconsin defense get gashed on the ground like that very many times. Trends in the game. Oregon 8-1 against the spread on the roads to start of last season. That's the second best in the FBS over that span. Uh, Arkansas has the best, by the way. And Wisconsin is 0-3 against the spread against ranked teams this season. Uh, that's tied for the worst in the FBS this year, along with Stanford, West Virginia, and Missouri. I will take Oregon in the game, but I anticipate it looking quite like Wisconsin's last few games against competition comparable to Oregon. I think it's a slow start. Oregon figures it out and they turn on the gas and pull away in the second half. Expected to be a pretty entertaining first half, though, that's for sure.